Hello, welcome to this virtual field day presentation on growing rice with fur irrigation. I'm Dr. Gene Stevens from the University of Missouri Fisher Delta Research Center at Portersville. I am project leader of the cropping systems team. Today I will be talking about nitrogen management for fur irrigated rice. In flood irrigated rice, farmers typically broadcast all the urea nitrogen for the season at first tiller growth stage. This is done immediately before establishing the permanent flood. Rice plants grow slowly from emergence to the five leaf stage, and then vegetative growth accelerates after tillering begins. Most of the nitrogen is taken up by rice roots before entering an elongation. Nitrogen fertilizer is more likely to be lost by denitrification in fur irrigated rice than flooded rice. In fur irrigated rice, soil oxygen in fields fluctuates because of wet, dry cycles. This causes bacteria to denitrify nitrogen fertilizer in the soil. For over a decade, we have been conducting nitrogen management research on flooded rice at the Missouri Rice Research Farm and the Fisher Delta Research Center in, in Portsville. Since 2016, we have also been studying fur irrigated rice. We've learned that nitrogen losses from denitrification can be reduced by splitting urea applications during the season. Another option is to apply a blend containing urea and control release urea. Splitting urea with the airplane guards against denitrification, but it is an added application cost for farmers. Blending regular urea with control release nitrogen makes nitrogen available immediately and also while supplying nitrogen later in the season. In our field tests we found that the lowest yields occurred and the greatest nitrogen deficiency in the upper parts of the field. The highest yields were typically in the bottom of the field. The rows were typically more than 800 feet long. Often a cross levee is made at the bottom of the field which causes excess water from irrigation and rainfall to back up. This area is essentially flood irrigated rice. In 2019, farmers reported uneven grain maturity in different parts of their fur irrigated rice fields. Most of the University of Missouri fur irrigated rice research has been focused on increasing rice in the upper parts of the field. This year we added grain maturity to our studies. Our goal is to help farmers manage fur irrigated rice to produce optimal yields from, with consistent grain quality. In summary, farmers can reduce nitrogen losses in fur ir irrigated rice by splitting urea applications or using urea blends with control release nitrogen fertilizer. We are evaluating nitrogen management programs to help farmers grow rice with more uniform grain maturity. Thank you for watching this field, virtual field day presentation. If you have any questions, please contact me.